Hola, I'm Ruben Alvarez, a drummer percussionist from Chicago, Illinois. I currently teach at Roosevelt University, Columbia College, Chicago, and Prairie State College. And welcome to Fun With One. So this is a continuation of the last video that we did, which really just concentrated playing on one drum, because you have to crawl, you have to walk, and you have to run. So it's uh, obviously the goal is, is to play multiple drums when you're learning how to play the tumbadora, or the conga as it is commonly called. But we really have to start with the basics, and that's what this is designed for. This, these uh, series of videos are designed for the beginner to give you some ideas, to give you some exercises and can, some concepts on how to approach learning how to play this tradition. The last video that we did really concentrated on three tones. The palm tone, the open tone, and the slap. In this video, we're going to introduce you to another tone on the drum called the finger tap. And we'll combine that to now produce what we call the elemental tumbao. So let's begin. I'm going to call my left hand my right hand and my right hand my lead hand because I'm right handed. If you're lefty, you'll do the opposite. I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to put it on the inside diameter of the drum. If you have a drum in front of you, you do the same. In fact, go get your LP drum and sit it in front of you, as you can see, just as I am. What we're going to do to introduce you to the finger tap is just give you simple exercises. Now, here's what I want you to think about that you're doing. You're going for rhythmic accuracy, musicality, and consistency of tone. What I want you to do is simply put your palm on the inside diameter of the drum, Raise your hand, or basically raise your fingertips off the drum, and come back down immediately, as if the drum head were magnetized, like so. Again, we were talking about rhythmic consistency. Add a tempo to it, and think that you're playing music. Even though you're doing a simple exercise, you're still making music. One, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, make music. Cut that in half, half notes. One E and a, two E and a, one E and a, quarter notes. One E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a. Next step, let's combine the palm sound with the finger tap, also called the heel toe. Same starting position, palm on the inside, fingers touching but not pressed together. We're going to play a palm sound followed by a finger tap. So what you see is I came down with a palm tone and immediately followed it with a finger tap. Now let's add some rhythm to it. One E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a, one a, two E and a. Now you want to gradually add a little speed to your tempo. We're really not going to go any faster because what we're really talking about is really being able to play the two tones consistently so that you get that consistent sound. And you feel, like I said, you feel a groove. You got to feel a groove every time you practice. It's music. So the tumbao is basically made up of two patterns, the palm finger combination. Now let's add the lead hand to build what I call pattern A. And what we're going to do is play that palm finger and immediately follow by a slap. Again, one E and the two E and the one E and the two E and the one E and the two E and the. Cool. So we've got pattern A. Now let's start working on building pattern B. What we're going to start out with is again utilizing what we call the right hand. Same starting position. 
one e and the two e and the one e and the two e and the one e and the two e. We've got that first part. All we're going to do to finish it off is add two open tones that answer last pattern that we did. The finger palm finger. So one e and the two e and the one e and the two e. One e and the two e and the one e and the two e and the one e and the two e and the one e and the two e and the. Great. So we now we've really got both patterns. We got pattern A and pattern B. Let's put them together. One e and the two e and the one. Thanks. See you next time with fun with one.